So science is as much to do with um, understanding ourselves as literature is, and vice versa. Um, I suppose what they have to offer each other um, in terms of understanding each other and helping us to understand ourselves is that attention they both give um, to what is already known and the desire to search beyond that to what isn't known. I think poetry and science share that at least in common and because of that are both political in their nature. My most recent book with Annie Tharman is based on eyewitness accounts of Chernobyl, 1986, when the fourth reactor exploded. Um, those accounts are extremely harrowing, but also very informative and very revealing about what happens to human nature, as well as our genes when radiation exposure reaches those levels. And this is a, a short poem entitled Last Wish, um, which speaks in the voice of a Soviet soldier they wore green uniforms and they were used, and they were used um, to clean up the debris. You bury me in concrete, bury me in lead. Rather, I was buried with a bullet in the head. You seal me in powder, cut the hair last, then take the trimmings and seal them in glass. You wrap me in plastic, wash me in foam, Weld the box airless and ran the box home. For each tomb that's hidden, a green soldier turns. None decomposes, nothing for worms. A buckle, a pencil, break one thing I left. Give some small part of me, ordinary death. 